Hello and welcome to this uh, Blender tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be taking a look at, it's actually a continuation. Um, we've done a, a 3D, a, a quick modeling of a 3D stick figure character and um, we added an armature uh, using the skin modifier and uh, now we're ready to pose. So let's do a little posing. We're going to see if we can't get this guy into kind of a zombie pose and see if we can get a little zombie walk going on here. So um, the character normally um, appears like this uh, in object mode um, and what we want to do is there's now a pose mode now that we've had an armature and over here in the um, outliner you can see we've got our armature which is really a set of bones here that we can use so how do we use these well if we go into uh, pose mode um, you can see when you highlight them they turn blue so it's a good visual indicator that you're in pose mode and if you wanted to, uh, this gentleman here to um, lift its arm we could use R and rotate in order to get the arm to come up or come down um, and uh, if we just wanted the end of the arm um, we could rotate it around here uh, same for the hand um, we could choose the wrist and sort of move the hand um, we can take the entire head if we wanted to and rotate the head bob it back and forth and uh, we can actually use this bone here in order to rotate the entire character. Uh, we didn't put any knees on the character, so that's why we're going to do a little zombie walk here. Um, so in order to get going, um, we want to maybe get into um, animation mode. So animation mode is up here. There's a workspace. And um, over on the left, you can see that's where the camera is. If we, if we click the camera over here, you can see it's about the same. So what we're going to do is, is hit in as in Nancy go to view and choose camera to view and so we can um, zoom in a little bit more rotate there we go that's probably good and then we can move out of camera mode here uh, and go back in and, and do what we need to do uh, but then when we run our animation you see a timeline down here this is our dope sheet and uh, our camera view over here and then our posing over here so let's say we just um let's say we start him off um with his arms like this so we can highlight all of his bones here and choose i uh, i'm just going to use location rotation scale to capture all of it uh, and then uh, i'm going to move a few frames into the future here and so let's see if we can just straighten out his arm here a little bit so let's move his arm uh, maybe just move this portion. So RZ, I could swing his arm over this way. Uh, same thing here. I'm going to get the arm um, from the shoulder outward. Uh, RZ and bring it kind of forward into sort of a zombie pose. Now if I highlight all of these and hit I, location, rotation, scale, uh, we could see that our first part of our rotation and he's moving a little fast for a zombie but we can always scale this later so um, so he's he's in zombie mode here to some degree and um, let's see zombies sort of have a stiff-legged movement uh, forward like uh, so it should be a pretty simplified walk uh, animation or walk cycle animation here so uh, let's start by let's see taking this leg uh, the left leg and rotating it forward and maybe if we look at this guy I did not keyframe it so I gotta rotate it forward and then we'll select all and keyframe it now his arms coming forward as his foot is coming forward and we might want to have him lean a little bit we want to have him lean from if his leg goes forward he's probably going to lean back a little bit let's give that a try and see what that looks like All right, 
and then we want to Maybe rotate, so you want to lean forward. I did not advance my frame, so I'm going to undo that guy. Go forward a little bit more here. Try that again. So I'm going to basically highlight everything except his right leg. Rotate him. So he's coming forward. We'll make that kind of the contact pose here. And we might want to move him a little bit in the Y. And then use I to location rotation scale. All right, so he's doing a zombie sort of lurch forward. Let's get him to lean back. I'm going to go into the next frame. that looks like. So, so left leg forward, come back together to pause. I have the wrong leg going forward. There we go. That is the issue because I had switched sides there. So the first one comes forward, contact. I really need that right leg coming forward, and that is not what I have here. So that shouldn't be too bad to fix. Rotate, bring this guy back, and rotate this one up. Replace the keyframe by inserting a new keyframe. All right, let's see if that's better. All right, we're getting there. All right, so now. I need this guy to come back and strike the ground. I need him to be moved forward a bit. See what happens there. All right, so that is kind of the the the, the movement here, and we want to have him taking a few more steps. So see so if you can't repeat uh, repeat that process uh, in order to get him walking for. You know for a couple of seconds or so um, and uh, add some character to it and uh, I will meet you on the other side and uh, fast forward here a bit and uh, we will render our animation out okay so I've duplicated a number of frames and repositioned my uh, figure so if we we've got a short little zombie walk here if we hit the play button we can see our zombie moving across the screen here with a little stiff-legged perfect all right, so let's render this guy out. I'm going to go ahead and stop. So make sure that you're, um, I have uh, ended my um, 
animation here at 87 frames and so I've entered 87 here before output you definitely want to come up and make sure that you save this uh, it looks like I've already got it saved so I'm gonna hit save again in order to do that um, I guess I lose anything when I render uh, all right, so we go up here to our output properties, which is the little printer icon. And remember, you've got to choose a file uh, that you can get to. So I'm going to go to documents, blender models, and choose my 3D stick figure. So I'm going to be putting it in my stick figure folder. I'm going to hit accept. I can see it's changed here. I don't want a whole um, folder full of PNG files that I have to string together. I want a movie, so I'm going to choose AVI JPEG and bump it to 90% or 100%. Um, I know my camera is probably good, but it's never bad to, um, you know, to go into render mode and take a look. So I've got enough light there. It looks good. Uh, if I wanted to throw a material onto my character, um, I can come back into um, object mode, choose my cube, which is what this all started as, go to materials. Uh, choose a base color. Uh, I don't know. We can make them like, I don't know. This is zombie kind of greenish. I guess they're kind of greenish, aren't they? So I'll make them kind of green. And uh, if I want to, I can shade smooth them. Actually, with the skin modifier, I don't. Yeah, that's why it's not working. I, I bought the skin modifier on here. And let's go into mat materials here and take a look here. So I've got my armature. I think we're good here. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Oh, it makes it a block, so I want to undo that. So I want to keep that there. All right. I think this is probably good. There we go. So this is what we're going to get over here on the left screen as we render this out. Got a little zombie walk. Excellent. Let's go ahead and go up to render. We've done all of our output settings at this point. We could hit render animation. All right. Uh, we're done rendering here. We can um, close this out. Uh, go find our video file and test it before we close out. So we're going to go into Blender Models, 3D Stick Figure. And there's my animation. I'm going to, of course, rename it. Uh, we'll call this a zombie walk stick figure. Okay, I'll double click that, get it to play. All right, we've got a zombie. And that wraps up this tutorial. So thank you for your time and energy, and I will see you in the next tutorial.